Hello there everyone, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make this wire macrame ring. So, this is what mine looks like. So it's really simple, all we're doing is using square knots all the way around. But I'm basically just showing you the technique for how to do that and then turn a strip of macrame into a continuous ring like this. So it looks a little something like this on. So pretty simple, but still has a lot of impact because obviously there's a lot of texture in that macrame. But it's nice and comfortable to wear as well. What I also think would look really nice is if you actually oxidize this, because there is so much texture in it, it would give it a really nice look. And I think this would be perfect for both men and women, especially because there's no beads or anything. It's just really a simple ring band, and you can make it whatever color that you want to. So if you want to learn how to make this ring, then keep watching. So the only thing we're going to use is our wire. So what I'm using here is a 0.6mm regular round copper wire. And I do recommend using a soft wire for wire macrame. So let's get a wire ready and let's get started. And then we need some lengths of our wire. So the first one here is about 25 centimeters long and this is going to be the holding wire. And then we need another two lengths here of about 50 centimeters each and these are going to be the working wires. So I then took all my lengths of wire here and attached them onto my mini macrame board because it has all these notches along the edges. Makes it really nice and easy to work with. So first of all, I took my holding wire and then attached that into a notch on one side and then also one opposite on the other side. And then on the top one here, I've also then attached the working wires in the same one. And on the other side, I've left a tail of about 15 centimeters of this working wire. And then I have the longer lengths left here that we're then gonna start making knots with. So the only macrame knot we're going to use is a square knot and it works the exact same way as using cords. Obviously we're just using wires so it's a little bit different to work with but the technique is the same. So what I'm going to do is start with my left wire. You can start from the right side, it doesn't matter as long as you stay consistent throughout, whatever comes natural to you. But I lay the left one over the holding wire, then I take the right one, goes over that and I'm just using the end and then I go underneath everything in the middle. So that means the first working wire, but also the actual holding wire. And then bring the end through the loop here on the other side, so up through that. And then just pull the tail through. And then we can just grab them both of them and start pulling them tight until you basically form the first half of the knot. Something like that. And then to form the other half, I'm just gonna start with the right one, bring that over, and then the left one, goes over that and underneath everything in the middle and up through the loop on the other side. And then we can pull them tight like that. And that is then the other half of the knot. So we now have one full one. There we go. You can see the first one here can be a little bit loose, but once we continue, it's gonna tighten up nicely. So basically what you wanna do now is do a length of these knots. So you just wanna make another one, start in the exact same way. I'm gonna start on my left side and then go underneath everything and up through the loop with the other one and tighten this. And you can see that's the first half and then I'm making the other half of that knot. And then once that's tightened, we then have two knots right underneath each other. So there we go. And like I said, you just want to continue this until you have almost the full length that you need for your ring. So now I made a length of knots here and then I just want to show you the last knot that I have to do. Just to kind of also show you how I like to work with my wire here. Because I'm just going to bring it over and then again just make the exact same knot. Because like I said, because we're using wire, it's a bit different to work with than cord. Because obviously it reacts differently, but then tighten it. And what I like to do as I'm working with my knots, each and every single time I've tightened something, I always like to smooth out my wires like this, just through my hands and fingers. And then they're ready for the next movement. Go the other side, grab hold of them, and then again, pull tight. Because if you just let go now, you can see it's kind of gone out of shape. And what you want to make sure to do is keep it as smooth as possible throughout, and also Smoothing it out like this, it warms it up and makes it easier to work with. And then your lengths of wire are immediately ready for the next one. So then I took my length of macrame off the board here, because then what we need to do is shape this, and then also fasten the ends together so it can be a wearable ring. So what I'm gonna use for that is a ring mandrel. And obviously you also need to figure out about the size what you need. So what I recommend doing is, before finishing making the length of knots there, then I just take a piece of scrap wire, 
And then obviously you want to decide what size that you need and then bring that around the ring mandrel on the size and then where they meet up you can obviously see that's the length that you need to achieve that size but then you just need to make sure that the amount of knots that you make don't reach the full length. So you want to make sure you have a space left there because we need to just make some more knots when we're connecting the two ends together. So what I have for now is all my working wires just sticking kind of straight up to the sides from that last knot on either end. And then I have the holding wire there, each end coming out straight from the ends of the knots like that. So I'm just going to take this length and then put it on my ring mandrel. And then I want to start shaping this because obviously we need the shape in place before we can actually attach and connect the ends just to get this rounded shape so just bring it all the way around until they come towards each other on the back there and then what we need to do is bring the two lengths of the holding wires so the ones that are coming out from either end towards each other so basically they're going to end up lying next to each other like that making sure they lie flat next to each other and then we can take it off again now the shape and the size doesn't need to be perfect just yet we can always adjust that the main thing now is to just get this connected so what we're going to do is start from one end and then basically repeat the same on both ends but now what we're going to work with is basically have these two as holding wires instead of just the one but it's the same principle otherwise so we can start from one end, it doesn't really matter which one. I'm just going to start from the one that I actually made all the knots with. And you can see that this wire here, the holding wire from the other end is just coming over the top, just next to the other one. And then what we need to do is make another square knot by capturing both of these. So I'm just going to do this freehand. It can be a little bit fiddly, but it does get easier when it gets attached together more by making the first couple of knots. So we just start making another square knot in the exact same way, starting with the same side as we did before. And now when I bring the other side over that one and then go underneath everything in the middle, it just basically means you're going through the ring band and then up through the loop on the other side. You can see as I'm pulling them, that then creates the first half of the knot. I just want to maneuver this upwards because then when we tighten this, it's going to go right underneath the previous knot. And then you're just going to have this end of the opposite holding wire sticking out. We're just going to leave it there for now. Because this is how we're connecting the two ends together. Then I'm just going to make the other half of this knot. Again, going through the ring band when I go under the wires. And then just tighten this. Again, always making sure that the two holding wires now continue to lay flat next to each other and they don't overlap ideally. And then just get the knot as tight as possible. So something like that and you can see it's already more fastened now so easy to work with. And we just have that tail sticking out in between those two knots. So basically I'm just doing that one for now. I'm going to flip, flip it over and do the same thing on the other end just so both ends are connected and then we can take it from there. Again, make sure that that tail lays right next to the other one, making sure they're flat next to each other all the way around, but then going over the top of the other knots. And then here we need to do the same thing, but you just want to pay attention to how you need to make the knot because we're not going to the other end and that actually means I need to start from the other side. So the way you can tell is you need to start with a side where the length of wire is coming out basically below the knot. So you can have a little loop going on top of it, whereas on the other side, it's actually coming out towards the top of the knot, just like that. So you want to start on the side where it's coming out below. Otherwise, just make a square knot in the same way. Again, capturing that tail just making sure they stay lying flat next to each other as far as possible just to get as little bulk as possible and then the other half of the knot 
You can see it's a little fiddly doing it freehand, but it's definitely doable. And it's a lot easier now that we made the first one or two knots as well, because things are now fastened together. And the two ends are technically connected now. So there we go, that's the other half. So I now have a full knot on either end there after we connect it. And you can see the ends of the holding wires are coming out in between the knots, basically going towards the top there. So now what we need to do is basically fill in this gap here between the two ends, because obviously you can see it's just bare wire. We also want to fill that in with knots, but we need to know how many we need to make to get the size. So I'm going to put it back on the ring mandrel and then obviously the size that you want it to be and then you want to start pushing the ends together while holding on to the two tails of the holding wires pull at them while pushing the knots together and you can see the ends move closer to each other and then it will tell you basically roughly how many more knots or the spacing you have left that you need to make knots on until you reach the size that you want it to have so something like that you can take it back off obviously and you can always open it up if you need up if you need more space to work with and just know that you may can say another two knots on each side and then just double check it on the ring mandrel again just to make sure you don't make too many knots because obviously then you'd have to try and undo them and that's a lot more difficult when using wire but then otherwise like I said what there's really left to do is you continue on either side making a few more knots making sure you don't make too many just until you reach the point where the two knots on either side, the last one, are going to meet right there in the middle and you have the correct size. So now I made all the knots that I need here, then all I'm going to do is, like I showed you before, grab onto the two tails of the holding wires and then push the knots close together so they end up meeting up like that. And then we basically have the completed ring there. Then all that's left to do is finish off all of these tails. And so I'm just going to show you on some of the lengths here. Now first of all I'm going to start with one of the holding lengths and then you can see there it's coming out between some knots. Now what you just want to pay attention to is what side is coming out on. So there's coming out, if I'm looking at it like this, on the right side of the other holding wire. It might be opposite for you, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you then now bring it over to the opposite side. So I'm basically putting a bend into it against the knot it's coming out from and then bringing it to the opposite side. So it's going to lay across the top there, just in between those two knots that it's coming out from. And then what I'm going to do is take a pair of flush cutters and then I'm going to cut off the excess, but making sure to leave just a short tail there from where the wire is bending. But cut it off so it's not sticking out beyond the knots either. something a bit like that. Cut off the excess and then I'm grabbing my chain nose pliers and just putting them onto the very end of the wire that we just cut off and then giving it a little flick with my wrist in towards all the knots so it now kind of points inwards towards them and then all I'm going to do is basically flatten this down and that's going to then nestle the wire right back into the knot. So the very end of the wire is going to end up inside of the knot because that's why I put the little twist or flick into it so the wire there doesn't stick out and away from the piece and obviously it's going to catch or scratch the skin. We don't want that. So obviously you want to do the same thing on the other end there with the other holding wire. And then we just got to finish off the working wires as well. They're each coming out from their own knot at the ends there. So I'm just going to show you on one of them. Now, as I explained before, one is going to be coming out towards the top of the knot. That's this one here. And the other one is going to be coming out towards the bottom. So basically almost towards inside of the ring band. So what we're going to do is follow the direction that they're going in. So this one is going downwards. So I'm going to actually bring that through the ring band to the opposite side. So it's the same principle as the holding wire that I cut off. We're bringing them to the opposite side, just continuing. And that one was going above, so I'm taking that out to the opposite side as well. So now that's laying across the top of the wires in that knot there. And then otherwise, we we'll just do the exact same thing as before, cut off the excess, but making sure there's a little tail left. Just enough 
that we can grab onto with our chain nose pliers and put a little bend into it inwards towards the knot before we then flatten it down so it nestles into the knot and then always put your finger over it if you can feel it you need to just squeeze it in a bit more but if you can't then it's fine to wear and obviously there's just the same on the inside one, same principle this may be a little bit more difficult to get to but just get your flush cutters or wire cutters in there cut off the excess and then otherwise same principle grab the very end just get my pliers in there properly and then flick it inwards towards the knot and then just squeeze it down so there you go and also make sure you just feel that one so obviously just finish off the rest in the exact same way and once you've done that you have your complete ring so now that I got rid of all the excess wire then you can see it's continuous ring band and then I just want to mention if yours has gone a little bit out of shape while finishing them off or from previously you can always just put it into the shape you want now either just by using your fingers or put it back on the ring mantle just be careful not to push it too far down obviously just on the size that you need it to be but then this is what it looks like and it can look a little something like this on so pretty impactful I think because obviously the macrame gives a lot of texture but at the same time it's just a simple strip of macrame knots and it's also nice and comfortable to wear so this is a tutorial for this one here I hope you enjoyed it I have lots of other tutorials for wire macrame and just regular macrame as well if you're interested in that feel free to check out my channel I have playlists as well but otherwise thank you so much for watching this one